Every time I try to make one of these cakes, I think to myself, why am I doing this? What the f am I doing? <gasps> no! Oh, this thing is turning into some ugly cake. Oh my god. No. I don't know what the f that means. I got it all over my f shirt. The unicorn cake. Hey, have you heard about this unicorn cake? Is a cake shaped like a unicorn's face. It's got a horn and eyes and colorful mane to it and super badass cake of a unicorn's face. And I'm gonna make it today. Because. Now we're gonna start with the base of our unicorn head. Two cups of all purpose flour, a cup and a half of sugar, a stick of butter plus a quarter cup of butter, five egg whites, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of almond extract, three quarter cup of whole milk, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is add my flour, my baking powder, a little bit of salt, Give that a whisk, put that aside. So I'm just using the same bowl. It's a bowl shortage. Uh, I'm gonna add my butter, my sugar, cream together with your cream together. Next up, I need my egg whites. Those into my creamed butter and sugar a little bit at a time. I'm gonna add my vanilla, one teaspoon or whatever you got of almond extract. Continue to mix, just for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna add my flour and my whole milk a little bit at a time until it's all gone. Mixy mix. I've greased up three cake tins with butter and got some parchment paper in there. Add my cake batter. So I was running out of cake batter. These have only been filled up a quarter of the way up. And this one, I didn't have enough, so I put a cake ring in the cake tin. I only put the cake batter inside the cake ring. So I'm gonna bake these for 35-ish minutes. Good luck. Poke these with a toothpick. Oh, these are clean. 10 minutes ahead of schedule. That one is not ready yet. Soon, my friend, soon. I'm still kind of concerned here because they don't seem like they're, they're gonna be big enough, high enough for me to, uh, to make my unicorn head. I baked the cake in the cake ring, but it's stuck. Jesus. Cut out the cake. like I've never made a cake before in my life. So I'm taking a page out of Christina Tozzi's playbook and I'm gonna use the scrap pieces from all these other cakes that I cut out and I've made a fourth layer of cake and this is gonna be the bottom piece. The unicorn head needs some height and I don't think I'm gonna get it with just these three. I don't feel like making an entire new cake so I'm gonna use the scraps. Yes. Okay, so let's just get these out of my face. Now, in my big bowl, in my big bowl, I'm gonna be making some vanilla icing. I'm gonna be using a ton of icing sugar, 900 grams to be precise. 890 grams to be precise. Of course, I've completely forgotten how to make icing sugar too. I'm having an idiot day. Now take a salad bowl and all that icing sugar that you put into your bowl, transfer it to yet another bowl, because before you, the air tastes like sugar. And I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar. Watching one of my old videos, uh, the rainbow cake. I need my own advice right now. I've lost it. What the f am I doing right now? 400 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. Now first I'm gonna mix this, break it all up, get it all nice and soft. Then I'm gonna add my icing sugar a little bit at a time. Mix that in. Need more. <laughs> Did I forget something? Why is this so dry? I got some whole milk here and a little vanilla. How about that much? Not yet though, add the rest of the sugar. And once I have everything nicely combined, I'm gonna turn the mixer on high and I'm gonna mix it until it's all nicely 
it looks like icing, really. Okay, I think we're good in that department. Got this, this is a cake drum. And I've done this before in the past where I can make my own cake turntable with various objects around the kitchen because I don't want to invest in one of those actual turntables. See? Now one of these things I did invest in though is this larger offset spatula, I think it's what it's called. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of icing and I'm gonna put it on this cake drum. And I think that's gonna be like some glue here. So now I have to add this really shitty piece of cake onto that first. So I'm gonna take a bunch of this icing here, just plop it on top. Change of plans because that's not gonna work. And I'm gonna put it in a piping bag. Put it on this way. And maybe if I smooth it out with this bad boy. Oakley doakley, that looks good to me. I'm gonna add my next and the last piece on top. Now the foundation of this is getting kind of wobbly. I'm just gonna keep that cake ring like that. Because I've layered each piece of cake with some icing cake, icing. So I think if I put it in the fridge right now, let it chill out for a minute. What do you think? Hey, yeah, I, uh, buttercream is in a piping bag and I'm going to pipe the rest of it on. Oh, I can use this. Hey, so just pipe it along the sides, make a mess. See if I can clean this up with this bad boy. F a dust. Starting to realize that maybe the four layers of cake were a bad idea. The foundation of this cake is built on a bed of lies, really, because it's not holding its friggin' shape. It just keeps jostling around every time I move it somewhere. Yeah, I know, it's probably something I did. I don't know if the sun's beating down on it or what is going on right now. Oh my God, I've made such a... So the problem is I've made a complete mess of this cake. There's literally icing everywhere. I don't know what to do at this point. I gotta be able to rescue this. So I've scraped off as much icing as I can. Skewer into the middle of this cake. Hopefully that keeps that still. I'm actually thinking the skewer is gonna be a permanent fixture in this cake. Um, of course, I'll cut it off a bit, but I don't know how else to avoid the sliding of this cake. So I'm gonna put this back into the fridge because the sun is just beating the f on it. mission right now is just to get this completely covered in icing and looking smooth. Right now, I think it's possible if I just focus. Every time I try to make one of these cakes, I think to myself, like, why am I doing this? That's the best I can do. I'm not out of this yet. So what we're doing now is we're making a buttercream that is gonna be the mane, the beautiful hair of this unicorn. Colors, lots of colors. And it's easy, so it just takes like five minutes of your time. No big deal. Let's add the icing sugar just a little bit at a time here. A couple tablespoons of milk ought to do it. And some vanilla for good measure. Uh, I'll use my uh, three colors here. Okay, I don't really know where I'm gonna do this. I guess I should figure out where the face is gonna go, putting this stuff like in random places. Uh, this is too shitty. If you can't see, that icing is garbage. Fridge, back to the drawing board. Uh, so let's try this again. Summon that bowl, and that bowl. Completely screwed up this icing. It looks like crap. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know how to continue. This unicorn's gonna be a two day journey. So a few weeks ago, I made this, these cupcakes and I'm just gonna follow along to the recipe I was using for the icing for those cupcakes because something up here is broken and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm just gonna copy exactly what I did. So I'm just gonna, four cups, four cups of ice and sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, I'm running out of, Vanilla. A quarter cup of milk. 
a quarter cup of milk, stick, uh, stick of butter. So I am going to make this icing. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna mix this up until it's smooth. Add the milk, a little vanilla. I don't know why I just didn't follow that recipe in the first. That's wonderful. I don't know what the problem was. Just gonna divvy this out into three different bowls. A uh, little can go here, a little can go here, and you can stay there. I can't remember what colors we agreed upon uh, last week. So blue, pink, purple, purple. Blue in here, pinky in here, purple in here. I went a bit intense with the blue. It was more of a, a creative choice. I really like how the blue has come out here. I honestly probably did not make enough icing, but this is just a test. Please work, please work, please work. I'm just piping along what kind of looks nice to me. Maybe uh, that's not that nice. I don't have the right nozzle. I just have round ones in a star shape. Son of a bitch. Okay, so I'm kind of going for this shape with the piping bag nozzle. However, I don't know where I got this piping bag nozzle from. I think it came free with like, um, something. But as you can see, it does not fit into my piping bag. Uh, you get out of one problem and you're right back into another problem. So my hack is I'm going to use this piping bag nozzle and I have this other shape here. This won't fit into the piping bag. This will. So I'm just going to... So if I start over, take you guys off. Now in theory, this should all work. Different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna load up the top of this head with as much pink icing as possible. I continue to run out of icing. I just need to keep making it over and over and over until this cake is done. More icing. The blue needed more. <gasps> no, I mixed the blue in with the it. So I got my purple. I'm going to also just pipe these flower shaped thingamajigs. Oh, this sucks. I mean, I'm sweating, holy shit. If this looks fun to you, it's not. Maybe it just needs another color because the purple and the pink is a bit overwhelming. Maybe I'll put this in the fridge. Things are getting a bit shitty on here. The piping bag has all these different uh, pieces. I have to reach my hand into another piping bag, go grab it, uh, put the new piping bag, uh, Nozzle on this piping bag. Unicorns have star shapes on their head. They do today. Uh, this thing is turning into some ugly cake. Look how stupid this looks. Look at how stupid the back looks. I don't want to keep going. I'm very close to quitting right now. I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, if I just went to the store and bought the right nozzle. This blue does not match with the pink and the purple. That's too neon. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. F***ing crikey, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have some leftover icing. I think I'm just gonna pick just like a nice color that goes with all this and hopefully it offsets. I didn't put the f***ing nozzle in the piping bag. Oh my god. The nozzle's in the blue. Oh, for fuck. So I have to get the blue piping bag nozzle out of this piping bag. Invest in more piping bags. Invest in more of everything. Uh, I needed that. Not my. This is gonna have to do. Uh, we're gonna move on to. Uh, we need to. Uh, this is a first for me. We're using. Um, called fondant and uh, that's all I know about it. Okay, make the ears and the horn of the unicorn out of fondant icing. That's what it's telling me to do. What? Sprinkle some powdered sugar on the surface don't worry, I sanitized the shit out of this counter. Fondant. And I think what I gotta do is just roll it out. So I need to cut out uh, ear shapes. I need a teardrop cookie cutter. Who the f has one of those? Take a knife, thank you very much. Two big teardrops and two tiny teardrops. And then I'm gonna put them together. Focus. 
focus. Oh, why did I start from there? Uh, try that again. Yes, loop it around. Now I need to make two tiny teardrops. I just make a tiny teardrop out of this one. Done. Just a dab of water on this and you connect it. It should stick together. The water helps the fondant stick together and it acts as an adhesive. So this stuff needs to dry. So you put it on some sort of like rolling pin or whatever the hell you got. They need to be kind of like curled in a bit. I think that should do the trick. Lovely. Can I just combine all this fondant into one big fondant? I need to roll out the fondant into a rope shape. So it needs to be tapered. So it's thin here and larger on this end. Tapered rope of fondant to make my unicorn horn. It's thinner here. What if I just combine those and taper that better? Will that work? Will that work? Nope. Take a skewer or a lollipop stick. I have a skewer and I'm just gonna wrap the tapered fondant around the stick, but I gotta have it uh, uh, wet first. I gotta have the stick wet. Ah, oh, for the love of Christ. How are you supposed to do that? So I left a little end on the stick so that I can just jab it into the cake. Can I just unravel it? Oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay, it's good enough. It's good enough. Don't, oh no. Just gonna let that hang there for half an hour. Uh, it's super soft right now. And I have a feeling if you just leave it, what could possibly be next, right? Well, now I need to paint. I need to paint the horn and I need to paint the ears a magical color of gold. Of course, I spilled ice and sugar all over the floor when I opened the window to hear what that sound was. And I don't want to clean it up right now because I have stuff to do. I've gone ahead and bought gold, uh, no. I thought I bought uh, gold food coloring, but it's just gold food like dust. Apply the surface food coloring with a brush. I don't know what the f that means. If I add some of this gold to water, what happens? Maybe. Do that. What's that? Does that do anything that's interesting? Not really. Adding water uh, did nothing. That is the stupidest thing. Oh, oh, it might work. Of course, I don't have a uh, a brush or like a food coloring brush for this. So I'm gonna use uh, my camera uh, cleaning brush. I've never used it before, so. Uh, it's not like there's germs on it. So if I dunk this in water, then start painting. Come here. Then if I put the gold on, does that work? What is oh, you don't need a lot of water. Uh, oh, it's just a little bit. So if I add a bunch of gold, just a drop of water, uh, maybe a bit more. Yes, maybe a bit more. F too much, I know I added too much. More powder. Okay, that looks pretty solid, right? Maybe if I just use my hand. Where's the other one? Oh, that, that works good. Okay, that probably needs to dry, I would imagine. I'm just painting my horn with this gold. The brush hairs are all coming off, so I don't know if I'm gonna continue with the brush. I got it all over my shirt. I'm just covering all this with my, with my hands, with the gold. So the ears and the horn need to dry, and once they dry, I'll do a second coat of gold. Cool? I don't know if this is gonna come out of my shirt. I need to switch my shirt. I've switched my shirt. Now I've picked up a hair dryer, and what I'm gonna do is air dry this gold on the horn and the ears because it is not drying fast enough. But I should probably go in the cool setting.
I just blew the gold powder off the table, all of it, and there's gold flecks everywhere. Somehow it wasn't as catastrophic as I thought it would be. There's still enough in there to uh, apply a second coat. Yes, whatever you're thinking, I'm thinking the same thing. Who would ever want to do this for fun? Honestly, that's it. I can't deal with that anymore. So I gotta add the horn into, I didn't really make room for this thing. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. As well as the ears. Patch up the parts of the horn I'm not too proud of. Uh, it looks good from far. Uh, yeah, of course, why would the ears wanna stick up, right? Oh my God. I need two eyes right here. I'm just gonna use some icing sugar, not doing measurements because I don't care anymore. A couple squirts of black food coloring into the icing sugar and mix a roni, maybe more, more black. It needs to be really black. This is a smaller uh, circle piping nozzle. I've gone stupid. Okay, so what I have to do is pipe two eyes, just eyes. This one needs to be redone. I'm gonna put this guy in the fridge. Uh, he doesn't fit in the fridge. Make him fit in the fridge. Hey, you taste pretty good. He's not just a pretty face. The unicorn cake. Guys, that's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Make sure you're already subscribed. I got my Patreon down below in the description if you wanna check that out. And you can head over to Instagram. You can say hi to me over there. Uh, that's it, I'll see you guys soon. What the fuck? It's a near fatal close call. This fell into the egg whites, but I think it's okay because the egg whites are fluffy. Um, where was I?